How to Remove a Job from a View in Jenkins. Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.452.3. Now let's assume for a moment that I want to remove jobs from a view that I've defined. In my case, I have a view called My View. Inside of this view, I have four jobs to find. Test job one and two, and then folder one having both J1 and J2. Now there are two ways that we can remove the jobs from the view. We can use the UI and we can use the CLI. Let's look at the UI first. Let's go ahead and click on Edit View, and let's assume we want to go ahead and remove test job one. We'll go ahead and uncheck it, click OK, and then we can see that test job one has been removed from the view. The second way to do this is to use the CLI. Now, if you've never used the Jenkins CLI before, there is a link to a video down in the description about how to use the Jenkins CLI. For the rest of this video, I'm assuming you've already done the setup steps that I go through in that other video. So let's go ahead and go over into Dashboard, Manage Jenkins. We'll go down to Jenkins CLI, and let's go ahead and scroll down to Remove Job From View. Here we can see the command we're using, Remove Job From View, with the arguments View and Job. So we'll give it the name of the view and potentially the job names. Now in our example, we're just gonna be removing one job at a time, but you can pass in multiple job names at once. So let's go ahead and go back over into our view, Dashboard, I'll click on My View, Let's remove test job two first. So we'll paste in, remove job from view, my view, the view name, and test job two, the job name. We'll hit enter. Let's go back to the UI and refresh this. Now we can see test job two has been removed from the view. Now how do we specify jobs when they are in folders? Let's go back over into our shell, I'm pasting in the command, remove job from view, my view, and then folder one forward slash J1. So we're specifying the folder path using forward slashes. We'll hit enter. We'll go ahead and refresh this page. And now all we're left with is just folder one J2 in my view. Now what happens if you give the CLI an invalid job? So let's go back over to the shell. Let's change J1 to J3 because there is no J3 inside of folder one. What we're going to see is we get an error back saying there is no such job folder one J3. And then it tries to give us, maybe you meant this, but in our case, we've already removed J1. So it's just a best effort guess. So bottom line, if you pass in a job that does not exist, it's just going to give you an error that the job doesn't exist. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on X at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.